All right, folks, welcome back to yet another one. Today we're going to talk about Wolfhead Craft Distillery. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. All right, folks, what are my two favorite things? Two favorite things to drink. Whiskey and coffee. Usually more so coffee than whiskey. Put my finger back. Wolfhead Craft Distillery is in Essex County, which is probably about 30 minutes from my house. I have driven by there a couple of times. But they make... Oof, what do they make? I don't know what they make. Maybe I'm not going to know what they make. You know, if you just look once in a while, you may see how you're supposed to take some off. I have a tendency not to do that. We have a plastic wrap. Had I done that in the first place? Never mind. Oh, all right, folks. This is not necessarily a whiskey as class as a liqueur. Now let me just read you a little bit here about Wolfhead. So first of all, before I get started, I'd like to thank Mark for this bottle of Wolfhead. He gave this to me a few weeks ago. And uh, it is a craft whiskey liqueur. Obviously by Wolfhead. Now on the back, it's this premium small batch. A unique style of double barrel whiskey and cold brewed Costa Rican coffee. Carefully blended in our in-house, sorry, carefully blended by our in-house barista. Maximizing the aroma, we've created a liqueur that is smooth in flavor and strong in character. Stay wild. 30% alcohol. Now it does say Canadian whiskey. It does not say which Canadian whiskey. Um, it does say it's a Costa Rican coffee. It doesn't say where the coffee is roasted or where it comes from. Not that that's necessarily important. Let's have a taste. One thing that is a little eye-catching is the bottle. It's a little different. Ooh, I can, I can smell the sweetness. All right, the ingredients to this here, it says on the back of the bottle, Canadian whiskey, sugar, coffee, and vanilla extract. Again, this is a liqueur. 30% alcohol, and this is a 750 milliliter bottle. The vanilla is very strong, very strong. I can, with the vanilla and the coffee, I can barely smell the whiskey. That's sweet. Really taste the sugar on there. Now, it is a liqueur. It is not a whiskey. It is meant to be sweet. That is, that is sweet. It tastes chocolate as well. Yeah, definitely tastes the sugar. The sweetness is over the top. Very sweet, very sweet. Did I say it was sweet? I'm pretty sure I already said it was sweet. All right, let's talk about Wolfhead for a second. Owner of Wolfhead Distillery, Tom Manhurst. That's M-A-N-H-E-R-Z. Not quite sure why I just spelled that for you, but I did. You're welcome. Uh, found himself inspired by the local history of rum running and the rum running and prohibition after establishing a third-party bottling operation for companies looking to produce small batch specialty lines. Now, I don't know if I've brought this up before or not. I may have. If not, I should do a complete video on it. There was a complete, complete, top to bottom rum running operation in Essex County crossing the border to the US during the Prohibition era. 
I think I might need to do a little bit of research and put a nice video together with that because I think that would be rather interesting. But this is what inspired the owner of Wolfhead to start his own. Tom's inspiration soon developed into a, see how I get sidetracked? I see a squirrel running and I'm gone. I just did it again. Tom's inspiration soon developed into ideas of building a premium craft distillery. Wolfhead was born, a craftsman's operation. Wolfhead Distillery incorporates the resources found in its own backyard in producing unique flavors that push the boundaries of standard Canadian spirits. A distinct element being the neighboring Amherstburg Quarry, supplier of the limestone tree to water used in the production of all Wolfhead spirits. Uh, their website, uh, drinkwolfhead.com, uh, very nice put together website, easy to get around. Obviously you uh, put your age in before you can go any further and very well done. So, if you're into the liqueurs, this is a very nice liqueur. It smells sweet, but it tastes a lot sweeter than it is. And like I said a minute ago, uh, the Canadian whiskey, there's no description of what the whiskey is, uh, whether it's local or not. But I'm guessing if I went a little deeper into the website, I might be able to find out what that is. But uh, the Canadian whiskey, the sugar, the coffee, vanilla extract. I have an idea where the coffee might come from, where it's roasted. Probably the uh, probably the same place I get my coffee from out of Windsor. I'm guessing, just guessing. It might be Colonial Coffee. I'm just guessing. But Wolfhead, if you're into liqueurs, this is a fantastic liqueur. I think I said that like four times now. I'll put that away before you people think I'm. All right, so I'm getting a little bit of toffee. I've already now once you've tasted it and smell it again, it may be a little different. Super chocolatey, super chocolatey. Anyway, if you're into liqueurs, you will not go wrong with this. Wolfhead Coffee Whiskey, very nice. It's about thirty dollars a bottle at a local LCBO. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. If you get a chance, go over to drinkwolfhead.com. I'm obvious. I'm not, I don't memorize all this stuff. I just gotta, I gotta look. I'm not. Drinkwolfhead.com. Cheers. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. But they make. Oof, what do they make? I don't know what they make. Oh. Maybe I'm not gonna know what they make. I'm not going to. It tastes fine not knowing what it is. <laughs>